Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem 483. In this problem it is said that determine the magnitude of the pin reaction at A and the magnitude and direction of the force reactions at the rollers. The pulley at C and D are small, right? So we have to find the magnitude of the pin reaction at A, right? So let me represent those reactions. So here we will have, uh, let's say that this reaction is AX right if if this is my positive x and y direction if this is our positive x and y direction so then this will be a x and similarly let's say that here we have a y reaction which is acting vertically upward right let's say this is a y and as we can see that here we have two rollers right so so this a b c uh, rod uh, will only contact with the uh, roller e or roller f at once right so uh, it's not possible to be in contact with roller E and F at a time, right? So either this ABC member will in contact with this roller F or it will be in contact with that roller E. So let's say, let's assume that this ABC member is in contact with this low, uh, this roller F, right? So let's say that this roller F is applying the force on this ABC in the upward direction, right? So let's say that this force is F, right? Here, uh, it is required that uh, determine the magnitude of the pin reaction at A and the magnitude and direction uh, of the force reaction at the rollers right so we have to find the direction of this force f right so if uh, the f magnitude is positive so then the assumed direction will be accurate right if it is negative so then that will mean that uh, this abc member is in contact with that roller e right so that roller e will apply the force in the downward direction right this roller uh, will never apply the force in the downward direction right since the rollers always apply the force in the upward direction right so now if i consider this abc member of this frame for static equilibrium right so then we will have uh, the tension in this wire let's say as we can see that this whole wire is continuous, right? So we can say that here we will have a same tension T. Let's say that this is tension. This will be acting away. This will be acting away, right? And as we can see that here, uh, this mass is 60 kg. So 60 times 9.81. So 60 multiplied by 9.81. So this is uh, 588.6. So let's say that this is 589 approximately, right? So uh, here we will have that 589 Newton as well. So this will be 589. Let me write that this is 589 Newton. And here, uh, since this rope is continuous, right? Since this rope is passing through that point D and it is continuous, right? So here we will have that same tension, 589 Newton, and here we will have that same tension, 589 Newtons, right? So now let's say that this rope is making uh, angle alpha with the horizontal, and let's say that this rope is making angle beta with the horizontal, right? So first, uh, what I will do that I will find this alpha and beta angle, right? So we can find this alpha and beta angle by using uh, for alpha if I use this ACD triangle, right? So we have this ACD triangle. So we can find alpha if we apply 10 alpha to this ACD triangle, right? So 10 alpha will be equal to, so 10 alpha will be perpendicular divided by B. So the perpendicular is 0.5 and the base is uh, this ac length so ac length is 0.4 times 3 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 so this is 1.2 right so if i take uh, 10 inverse so this is 0 0.5 divided by 1.2 so this will give us 22.62 degrees right let me check so this is a uh, 10 inverse 0 0.5 divided by 1.2 right so this is 22.62 degrees right and now to find this beta we can apply again 10 beta to this small triangle this a b d triangle so we can write that 10 beta will be equal to 0 0.5 divided by this 0.4 right so i will divide it by 0.4 so then beta will be equal to 10 inverse 0.5 divided by 0.4 right so 0.5 divided by 0.4 so this is 51.34 so beta angle is 51.34 degrees right so now if we consider this abc member for static equilibrium and if i apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero and if the counterclockwise moment is positive so now uh, I need to resolve these uh, and this tension in these cables are these wires, right? So this is that tension, this is that tension T589 Newtons, right? So if we resolve these uh, two tensions, so we will have uh, 
one component which will be acting in this direction and this will be the cos component and similarly we will have one component of this tension which will be acting vertically upward like this so this is uh, 518 this one is 5189 cos of beta and this one is sine component this is 5189 sine of beta and similarly we will have two components here as well right so again this will be the cos component so this will be 589 sine of alpha and this one will be 589 uh, this one is cos of alpha right this is cos of alpha and this one is sine of alpha right so now if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to 0 so as we can see that these cos components are passing through that point a so they will not produce the moment about that point a so only these sine components are producing the moment about that point a so now as we can see that this sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a so i will write 589 sine of beta and beta is 51.34 and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point a is 0.4 so i will multiply this with 0.4 right so this will be 0.4 similarly uh, this component is again producing the counterclockwise moment so i will write plus and this is 589 sine of alpha and alpha is 22.62 and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point A is this 1.2 meter distance right so I will multiply this with 1.2 and similarly as we can see that this force F is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A as well right so I will write plus F and the perpendicular distance of this force f from that point a is 0.8 right so i will multiply this with 0.8 and this will be equal to 0. oh uh, there is one another force this uh, 589 newton so it is producing the clockwise moment so i have to include this as well right so we have to write plus 589 and the perpendicular distance of this 589 newton force from that point a is again 1.2 so i will multiply this with the 1.2 and this is equal to 0 right so we can take uh, 589 common from these three terms right so i can write it like this so this is 589 so this will be 0.4 sine of 51.34 this one will be plus 1.2 sine of 22.62 degrees and this will be plus 1.2 and if we bring this to the other side of equation so this will become uh, minus f into 0 0.8 or uh, if we divide this whole term by 0 minus 0 0.8 so we will get that f magnitude right so from this f equals to 314 approximately right so this is 314 and and this whole term gives us plus 314 right so this means that the assumed direction is accurate right so this abc is in contact with the f roller right so this means that the magnitude of f is 314 newton and the direction is up right uh, here i have done one small mistake this is not plus right so here we have minus right this 589 newton force is producing clockwise moment right so this is minus so we have to write it as minus so then here we have also minus as well right so with that we get f equals to 314 newton and this is acting in the upward direction right now to find a x and a y magnitude so what i will do is that i will apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero right so this is our positive x direction so this a x is acting in the positive x direction so i will write a x right similarly this cos comma is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus 589 cos of beta and beta is 51.34 similarly this component is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus 589 cos of alpha and alpha is 22.62 and this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that ax is uh, 912 right this is ax minus 911.6 this is equal to 0 so we can say that ax is equal to 912 newton approximately right 
now to find a y if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 this is our positive y direction right so as we can see that this a y is acting in the positive y direction so i will write a y this sign comes is acting in the y direction so i will write plus 589 sine of beta which is 51.34 this f is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus f right so this is plus f and this sign comes is acting in the y direction so i will write plus 589 sine of alpha which is 22.62 and similarly this is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus 589 and this is equal to 0 and this f is known its magnitude is 314 right so i will write that this is plus 314 so from this a y is plus 411 right this is a 411 approximately right so this is equal to 0 so we can say that a y is equal to minus 411 newton right so minus sign means that a y is acting in the downward direction so now the resultant of a x and a y will be a right so the total resultant reaction at a will be equal to a x square plus a y square and then we will take the square root right so again a x is 912 so 912 square plus a y is 411 square so this is approximately equal to 1000 right so a is equal to 1000 newton right so here we are given that a is equal to 999 newton right so uh, we did approximation right so if if i do not uh, go for rounding off so then we can write that a x is 911 so if we take a x equals to 911 uh, so then we will get that same answer right so if we consider that this is approximately 911 we consider it 911 right so then we can say that this is 911 square so this approximately 999 right so the a magnitude is 999 newton if we consider a x is equal to 911 newton right so this is the solution of this particular problem uh, if you people uh, find my videos helpful so kindly like my videos and subscribe my channel